Beat him out for the starting position this year. So now second down and about three. He drops back, throws, catch at the 30. That's the tight end. They'll roll him into the sideline at the first down at the 28-yard line. The clock working against them, of course, with 7.20 remaining in the game, and AM leading at 31 to 7. First and 10 at the Aggie. 27 yard line. Crawford gets the handoff. Crawford smashed. Somebody hit him up high and knocked him flat after a two yard pickup to the Aggie 25. And Matt Featherston is the man that made that hit. Featherston and uh, Lewis right now are the linebackers. Patterson still in there in the defensive front. Under pressure, rolling, throwing. It's a catch. Be at the 21 by Crawford. Carpenter throwing it. Crawford caught it. Not enough for a first down. Third downs tonight, 7 of 17 for Montana State. Shotgun, they had a motion man. Dropping back, setting up, throwing, and it is incomplete off the fingertips of the intended receiver, Green. It's at the 29-yard line. It's a 39-yard effort. Angle is back to the left. Missed two tonight. This one again of 39. It's down, it's up. And it is no good. Missed that one left. Three. He's over tonight, and the Aggies will take over. They have flown 48 combat missions over Iraq. Well, we've got Gerard Johnson in the lineup, and he has just had play action, and he's running to this side of the field. He gets across the 25 line of scrimmage, the 21, and Gerard just got his first Aggie carry, and he takes it to the 28-yard line. Gerard Johnson is 6'6", 232, a freshman redshirt from Humble. The Houston Touchdown Club Offensive Player of the Year, his senior year, he passed for 1,500-plus yards as a high school senior and rushed for 613. So he's seeing action for the very first time. He saw a little playing time uh, primarily as a practice player for the basketball team last year. Here's second down in a couple, and he's just handed off. And is that... Carry will be Keandra Smith. So Keandra's in the lineup for the first time. 5'9", 199. Sophomore squadsman Tyler Lee played in eight games last year. Red shirt, no five. Third down, seven. 25-yard line, 435 left. The Aggies leading it 31 to seven. It's going to throw. Has time. Dumps it off here. Incomplete off the fingertips of the intended receiver, Shankle, at the 30-yard line. There's Brantley last time out. He tried to run for a first down. <laughs> you think they'll do it again? Uh, four for 42 <laughs> is his average tonight. Stand at the 10. Line of scrimmage is the 25. And they punts away. They got kind of close to that one. It's coming off to this side of the field and going to get an Aggie roll inside the 25, inside the 20, now to about the 18-yard line. All right, here we go. Montana State's got the ball first down and 10 at their 18-yard line after the punt of 57 by Brandley. On the ground, they go to Crawford. Crawford breaks it out across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Opening their season. They're here next week at 2.30. Crawford again gets the handoff to the line of scrimmage. He goes one, ooh, late hit. No, no flag. Close. <laughs> and Crawford is down at the 21-yard line. That'll bring up a third down and still about seven or so. Yeah, they have. Uh, they've done a great job with their third down conversions that keep drive alive, and uh, that's why you get so many plays. Yeah, Crawford on a draw. He ran into a couple of guys, may have been his own blockers. He was trying the middle, and he's dropped back inside the 20 at the 19-yard line. And Jordan Peterson is at the Aggie 41-yard line. Montana State has kicked six times tonight, 38-5. Brantley has kicked five times and a 45-2. Went for it on one play. And came up a little shy by an ankle tackle. Now from the six-yard line. Takes the snap, it's low, punts away. It's off the side of his foot and it hits and goes out of bounds. Ooh, bad kick. Inside the, um, the Montana State side of the 50. This will give Gerard Johnson another series of downs. McGee, by the way, tonight throws 20 times, completes 10. And Gerard runs the options. Coming this side, Keandre turns the corner. He's at the 40, he's inside the 40. He's to the 37 yard line, a pickup of about eight. Okay. Smith now. Just got his third carry, and he's up uh, around 12. Gerard in the shotgun, pumps, now he runs. Cuts back to his left, 35. Cuts back to his left, back to his right. Now at the 20, he's at the oh 15, my. he's at the 14-yard line. Oh, my. 
and he is alone. He is 6'6", 232 pounds. I formation behind him, two tights, flanker right. Line of scrimmage, the 16, the option. There goes the pitch. Keandra's got it, stops. Now he gets back to the line, maybe lost a yard. Uh, back to the 17, maybe the 18-yard line. Here's the second down and about 11, the ball on the Montana State 17 with a minute 33 to go, and the Aggies up 31 to 7. Here is a throw out into the flats and trying to lead the receiver. We'll let that man uncover, and uh, that's Cornell Terrence. Kansas State, 526 to go on the third, is leading Auburn 13 to 6. We'll have the scoreboard on the post game. Third down and about 11 after the Aggie timeout. Shotgun Johnson, two wides each side, has his snap. Keandra Smith was there to block. He's going to throw in zone, and that's a touchdown. <laughs> Terrence McCoy just caught it. Well, this is a great job by McCoy, and this is a great job by Gerard Johnson, but Montana State came with a blitz, and the offensive line, a magnificent job of picking it up and giving Johnson time to deliver this ball. Just a good offensive effort there for the touchdown. 37 to seven. Uh, Gerard. His first completion is a touchdown. He's one for three and 17 yards. Here's Zemanski and the point after is good. Minute 20 remaining and the Aggies now lead it 38 to seven. Now the Aggies kicking off again. All 12th man kickoff team. Except for Zamansky. Boy, Zamansky has done a great job on his kickoffs tonight. Yes, he has. Good weapon. Well, he's been perfect on field goals and extra points, too. Here's his kick. And this one's about two yards deep. They're going to return it to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. Breaks out across the 30. Being chased by Zemanski. Slowing up. Broke a tackle. He's at the 35-yard line. Almost got ankle tackle back around midfield. Carries that one to the 36 or 30, 34-yard line. Starter tonight, Arolovich, their quarterback, replaced by Corey Carpenter here in the uh, fourth quarter. Carpenter has his snap, drops back, throws a screen. Crawford to the left side at the 30, across the 30 to the 28-yard line. Shy of a first down by about four, got about six there. Stephen Hodge on the stop. Uh, former students, visit aggynetwork.com to learn how. Second down and about three. And uh, now they will throw, and there's a flag down. Ball was caught at about the 23-yard line. That'd be a first down. The meaning of the flag went all the way down to around the 12-yard line. And late flag. I, I can't figure this one out. Illegal receiver downfield. Okay. Huh. Clock stopped at 29 seconds. And there's the uh, snap. Carpenter rolls right, throws the ball. And it is a catch for a first down at the 19-yard line. And still working the ball. The offense for the Bobcats. Shotgun. Throws from the 26, and it's intercepted. That's Texas A&M coming back this way at the 10, at the 20. And Marquise Carpenter at the 21, 25, 30. Broke a tackle, got a man helping him. And across the 30, about the 33-yard line. And time has run out, and the game is over. A fitting in for this ball game. The ball thrown behind the receiver. Marquise Carpenter picks it up, returns it out to about the 35-yard line, where time runs out, and the Aggies win it 38-7. to We, we know we got work to do, you know, and this was, this was a good test for our team. You know, we had to kind of battle through it, and I, I think that's, uh, that's a credit to, you know, them, Montana State. They played really hard, and they came out and, you know, um, didn't give up and just played, played their butts off. But um, I think it shows some of the things we have to work on, and I, I think that's a really good thing for this team right now. 
Oh, certainly. Um, <clears throat> we were in that situation a lot last year, but, um, you know, I think we did a great job of responding. Uh, Montana State, you know, came out and played really well uh, for, the, for the first game, and um, we knew we'd get a great game for them. They're used to playing good teams, and so, um, you know, really for the whole game, you know, they really challenged us really well and played really good. So um, defense really responded well, not giving up any more points and, you know, held them out of the red zone. And, you know, finally we, our offense kind of got into a little bit of rhythm and, you know, kind of stopped shooting herself in the foot, which, which is sometimes, unfortunately, normal for a first game. What are the things coming out of this game that you feel like you guys got to work the most on? Well, a little bit in defense. Uh, areas, um, I think, getting a little closer in pass coverage and things like that. Uh, you know, there are just a lot of little things offensively that hurt us. Uh, there for a while, we either scored very quick or we went three and out, and that and that's not, that's not a good um, that's not good ammo for us to be like that. Uh, that's the way we were in 05, and as a result, our defense played about 80-some snaps tonight, and we played 50-some snaps tonight, and we we got a lot of points, which is still the, the number one goal. But I, I know across the board you're going to see uh, we're going to see a lot of things that we need work on, and then the, the players with a win will be purposeful in doing that. Um, you know, I mean, John, everything offensively, running game-wise, there were little things that weren't as clean as you wanted passing game-wise. Obviously, we had a few drops. Um, I mean, I, I, I think I, I can't channel it down to one area there. Defensively, screens and draws, I think, will be a big focus this week, obviously, in pass coverage. Uh, in kicking game, uh, I thought Man Szymanski really had a nice night. And I, I don't know what Brantley's average punting was, but it was pretty good. 45. So, 45. Yes. So, those things, coverage was pretty good. Uh, so, you feel pretty good about some of those things. into the 2007 football season in a spread band formation chevron. From the 50-yard line, the band executes countermarch movements and splits, moving north and south. The music is their signature march, the Noble Men of Kyle.
south 20, the band moves to regular block formation of 12 files by 27 ranks. The bugle rank initiates in a black formation to the continuous block band countermarch. The music is March Brogura. Ladies and gentlemen, the signature formation of the Fighting Texas Aggie Band, the 327 member Block T. Commander of the combined band is Cadet Colonel Robert Will. The executive officer is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Chris Rogers. The head drum major is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Michael Valdez. Infantry band drum major is Cadet Major Jake Folson. Artillery band drum major and A Company commander is Cadet Major Nathan Fluger. B Company Commander is Cadet Major Austin Cox. A Battery Commander is Cadet Major Luke Natardis. B Battery Commander is Cadet Major Ryan Chan. Ladies and gentlemen, before you on the playing field is the pulse of the spirit of Aggieland, the 2007-2008, the Fighting Texas Aggies Band.